not gonna start a fire! <laughs> Welcome back to the wilderness on the internet. I am the Hunter Wild, a full-time community-based broadcaster over at twitch.tv slash the Hunter Wild, where you can find me five to six days a week starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, playing a bunch of different kick-ass games with my saucy community. This series here is focused on how to how to launch your streaming career, how to get your stream off the ground, how to take your stream to the next level, whatever it is, whatever the case may be, trying to give it to you, trying to give you the good and saucy information. This, this particular installation, the fourth installation, is focused on personality. How to be yourself, but with some changes. This is a vitally important subject for, for streaming. That's, that's why it's the first one that we're really diving into on the, on the meaty part. The meaty bits of how to broadcast. Because people can watch gameplay anywhere. And people can play the games themselves. Why people come to your channel and not somebody else's. Why people come to anybody's channel and not somebody else's. Is based on a variety of factors. A primary of which is going to be personality. Now there are a ton of personalities in this world. As I'm sure we're all pretty well versed. You got a, you got a ton of different types of friends ton of different types of enemies, ton of different types of lovers. Uh, there's a bunch of personalities out there. And some of them are more enjoyable to one type of person than another. And when you are presenting yourself to the world in a, in a situation like broadcasting, one of the things that you want to make sure that you're doing, or not doing, I should say, is selling yourself out. If you sell yourself out, if you are trying to be something dramatically different from who you are in your core personality. You're going to get burned out so fast and end up hating yourself and sinking your channel. What I mean by this is don't try and install a temporary, completely different personality just for broadcasting. Don't try and imitate some broadcaster that you see out there all the way through if it's completely different from, from what your personality is. Now, you may have some, you know, perspective issues here where you're like, no, I'm, like, really similar to who they are, when in reality you're, 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 you're not at all. Uh, but that's something that you need, to, you need to take a lot of time to, to work on on your own, is, is, is looking, at, looking at who you are and who you are, who you are off, cam off camera, off cast, and who you are on cast. Uh, make some examinations. Go back and rewatch your VODs to see what kind of personality traits maybe you don't even know you're bringing to bear because these kinds of things can affect you in the long run where you feel like you've been just like so drained by broadcasting and you don't want to do it anymore. I've seen this happen a bunch of times. I've heard about it happening a bunch more than I've seen it and I want to make sure that, that, that this is not going to happen to you and the best way to do that is to know who you are and what you want to bring to the camera, to the cast, to your community instead of finding yourself in this accidental situation where you're going to burn yourself out by pretending to be somebody else. Another big component to the personality aspect of broadcasting, it's something that I've heard many times. It's nothing unique to me. I've, I, this is not an idea that I came up, came up with on my own uh, by any means. I've heard it many times throughout my life. Uh, and it's about wearing different hats, essentially. That's me 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 metaphorically here. Metaphorically. Wearing different hats in different situations. So your personality is not the exact same when you are talking to your boyfriend or girlfriend as when you are talking to a brother or sister, as when you're talking to a parent, grandparent, uh, a best friend, an acquaintance, dude at the coffee shop, a professor, a teacher. You have at least slightly different personalities that you kind of bring to bear not identities necessarily. Like you got presumably you're like one person. You're not like uh, you know schizophrenic with like woo wildly different personalities. But you do you do present yourself slightly differently to each one of these people, and none of them should really be like lies. None of them are really not who you are. They're just different presentations. They're different filters. They're different lenses to present yourself to to different people and in different situations. Broadcasting should be one of those situations. So then it's a matter of this being an unnatural kind of thing. Like there's not some like innate human characteristic where where you just like understand how to naturally behave with your parents versus an, an entirely different type of authority figure like a like a police officer. Like that's kind of ingrained in human consciousness, like how to act in these different situations. 
Broadcasting is a little different. There's not a person there. You don't have a natural situation that you're finding yourself in and tweaking that personality, tweaking that presentation. You kind of have to do this intentionally in order to get it done right. Some people naturally move into it and they're you know pretty easy and smooth. But for the most part, a lot of people have to actively make some choices here and actively put some energy into trying to be one type of thing as opposed to another actively trying to develop that special kind of head, whatever, I'm not a grandpa, to develop that particular type of personality that you want to bring to broadcasting itself. And it's up to you to find out what that is. Make sure that you're not going way overboard and being something completely different. Try and rein that in, try and be yourself, but be a slightly different kind of you that you don't normally bring to bear when you're talking to your sweetie or when you're talking to a coffee shop, when you're talking to your parents and so on. A special, a unique version of yourself that is still all the core characteristics, but with some fine tuning. So using myself as an example, uh, I bring a lot of energy to my broadcast. I'm all, I'm, I'm like, I'm party time. I'm hyping it up. I'm, I'm yelling. I don't do that off camera a lot. I don't, I'm not like vacuuming my stairs going like, yeah, suck that dirt up, son. Ah! I don't do that. I'm not, I'm not scooping my kitty litter going like, bam. Yeah, take that cat shit, mm, nerd. That doesn't happen. That's not what I'm doing off cast. At the same time, that's not really not me. When I'm around a group of friends playing video games, sometimes I get I get really, I'm, I'm like really ramping it up. And you know, when we're doing some multiplayer Halo or something, we all know how that can go. You play, you play games differently when you're with a bunch of friends, especially a certain type of friend versus another type of friend, you know, that kind of thing. And that's essentially what I'm talking about here. Bring that different, bring those different personality traits to uh, to bear on the on the broadcast that you don't necessarily do off cast. Finally, we've got the aspect of 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 gimmicks and uniqueness, the thing that makes your stream and your method of broadcasting uh, different from other people's. Presumably, most broadcasts are at least somewhat similar. You've got a human being on the other side of a video game talking about any number of things. It sounds like most broadcasts have, have those kinds of components. And you're probably not going to be much different from that. And if you are too much deviation from that, may not be very productive. I'm guessing. I'm spe it's just spitballing here. Just speculative. What you can do, though, is add some kind of uniqueness to your stream. It doesn't have to be wildly and violently unique. Uh, in fact, most of the time that that happens on a, on a stream, it ends up being a little too far, where only a niche community can form uh, the kinds of people who can tolerate whatever that crazy uniqueness is, people who can tolerate that for some amount of time, uh, more than just a one-off. Crazy uniqueness usually draws people in, and they're like, ooh, this is so different! But then, like, three days of watching it, this is like, they're, they're people, people tend to come back and say, this is a little too different. I'm going to go back to the normal human beings doing normal broadcasty stuff over there, not here anymore. In fact, one of the ways that you can do this is by having crazy uniqueness day, effectively, where you take one day a week, one day, probably a week might be a little too much, one day every two weeks where you do crazy shit, and it's not all the time on the broadcast. That can be... Uh, a gimmick that can be a uniqueness that you bring to the stream that gets advertised as such to draw extra people in for those days and and the people who like the craziness don't get over don't don't get burned out on it don't get overburdened by it they still get to come back on those days even if those are the only days that they come back you're still getting something something beneficial out of that and possibly drawing other people in who are interested in that uniqueness and then come back for your uh, the personality that you normally bring to the cast anyway you can have a variety of different gimmicks, and I use gimmick in a in a positive sense here. I don't mean a lot of people use use gimmick to mean that it's something that shouldn't be there. It's something that is like that's almost like uh, an inappropriate bait that draws people in and hooks them when it's not the real deal. And and my my definition is slightly different. That's 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 effectively what I mean, but in a positive sense, because this is about entertainment for the most part. It's about adding something to people's lives that they that they aren't getting elsewhere that's presumably beneficial or positive in some form or fashion. And entertaining people often means being at least slightly different from reality. If reality were so profoundly entertaining, reality uh, that did not include distractions, circuses, 
TV shows and movies, comedians, music, art, all of this other stuff that we develop, if non-human reality were so interesting, I don't think we'd, we'd waste our time on this other shit. Instead, we spend tons of time. We have whole eras in history that are remembered by virtue of these, these brilliant things, the Renaissance. By virtue, remembered by virtue of these brilliant things, these gimmicks, <laughs> so to speak, in the way that I'm meaning them. These tweaks and, and qualities that we add intentionally and experimentally oftentimes, that we add to reality to expand the universe. Uh, one person, one invention, one artwork, one broadcast at a time. I do a party time when I get raided, for instance. Uh, I have this totally, and he's got a bunch of makeup on his face right now, this totally derpy unicorn that I call my Sparkle Pony, which is part of my subscriber celebration. When I get when I get subscribers on my uh, Twitch stream, I've got some goofy and weird shit that I bring to bear on the stream that is kind of gimmicky. That that Sparkle Pony is a great example. I don't carry that goddamn thing around with me when I'm going to the grocery store. That ain't happening. I'm obviously using that uniquely for uh, for the stream in a certain circumstance to make it a little more interesting. It's some weird. It's a it's it's a weird thing. I bring it up. I put it on for a split second during a particular type of celebration. Uh, during during raids, uh, I've got a I've got a, a super hyped party song, and I start pounding out and dancing, and really and just like and like slapping my camera and shit. Uh, and it's not the kind of thing that I do elsewhere. It is it is gimmicky. Uh, in the positive fashion, it gets people really excited and really enjoying their time there. Even if the rest of what I'm doing for the rest of the cast is is a little more mundane, it's me just playing the game that one particular day, whatever game it happens to be, even if that's the case, bringing in those moments of excitement really ramp up connection, people's connection to the cast. It, I, that the, Part of the reason why I started doing that was because I saw similar things being done in my favorite broadcasts. Uh, when something interesting would happen, sometimes people would have a, a particular type of celebration, and I would find myself getting really ramped up and feeling really excited about whatever they did, not because they did it, but because they celebrated it the way that they did. And I tell you what, sit down with a pen and paper or in front of your computer and write out, uh, just, start, just start brainstorming, just start spitballing, and see where some of these ideas lead you. This is, a, this is one unique... Uh, or this is one technique that I recommend uh, trying to research and fine-tune for yourself is brainstorming, how to appropriately brainstorm. When it comes to uh, uniqueness and gimmicks, this is going to be super useful too because when you start brainstorming and listing out various ideas, see if you can get modifications of those ideas. Each one, try and get two variations or more of each one of those ideas and then see where that leads you and so on and so forth. It's just like going down this list, expanding it, spice it up, sex it up once in a while and make sure that you're not doing that too often. You'll get burned out and that will have tons of negative consequences as I was talking about before. If you've liked what you've seen here, make sure that you go down below, tap on that like button, feel free to give me some feedback in the comment section, hit that subscribe button if you want to get all the new videos as they come rolling out that you can be the first to apply any of this information to your own stream to get a leg up on the competition. This is the Hunter Wild, and you have been jamming out with me tonight in the wilderness. I hope that this has been incredibly informative, and if you like what you've seen here, make sure to go check out our other videos, as well as swing by twitch.tv slash thehunterwild, where you can catch me live five to six days a week, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also follow me on Twitter, at thehunterwildtv, and I cannot wait to jam out with you again! Just a little boop!